Hi and welcome to Completely Electrical STEM Show. Today we're going to have a look at the cosine law, which again is about illumination. Um, and if you haven't watched the inverse square law video yet, um, watch that first, because this is kind of like a follow on from that. So with the cosine law, we're looking at how to calculate lux levels just to one side of a light source. Because as that um, point of interest gets further away, the angle from the light source is going to increase and increase. And that gives a similar effect to the surface. It's going to appear dimmer and dimmer the further away it goes. It's kind of obvious, but we need to put numbers to this um, if we're going to do any kind of design work. So this is the kind of setup we're looking at, where we're trying to work out point B lux levels. And you can see it's slightly different. Um, our distance D is actually at an angle now. So we're going to have to use Pythagoras. And we also need to know the cosine of that angle in order to put it into the equation. So what we've got there is the inverse square law, but with the angle to deal with as well. So we're going to break this down into three steps. The first step is calculate your hypotenuse, which is our distance from the light source to the point of interest. And it's the straight line distance. Now, as you can see, this kind of setup creates a right angle triangle, and that's why we can use Pythagoras. So in our setup, to calculate that, we're going to do the square root of 2 meters squared plus 2 meters squared because that's our height and our horizontal distance. So that goes into the equation and we get a d value of 2.83 meters. And we're just going to put that to one side for now, uh, ready for later. Next, we need to calculate our cosine theta. Now, this is um, the cosine of the angle, okay? It's very important to know that we don't actually have to press any cosine buttons to get this. Uh, there's a little reminder up in the corner about your trig functions, and also a handy little way of remembering it forever. Um, but we can see that to work out the cosine of an angle, it says that we need our adjacent divided by our hypotenuse, which in our case is our height divided by our d value. So to calculate that, we're going to get 2 meters divided by 2.83 meters, which gives us a cosine theta value of 0.71. And then the third step is simply putting all that together into the equation. So it'll be 170 divided by our d value, which is the slopey side value, 2.83 squared. And then we times that by our cosine theta, which was 0.71. And what do we get? We get a lux value of 15.1. And that's all there is to it. You can substitute that equation and put it all in as one. But I'd say to start with, just break it down in those three steps. It will always be cosine theta. It will always be the height divided by the hypotenuse. So you can start to build up that pattern and get used to this. And there we go. Cosine law also done. Thank you.